Hey guys, it's it's me on the Eastern Seaboard, but I'm speaking English in an English accent. So maybe this turns Scottish. I don't know. I turn Scottish right now for you. Oh no, I'll say English, but uh, guys, this isn't really tea. This is actual coffee. Pretty good coffee, actually. The only issue is that the coffee tastes a little odd, odder than usual. I don't know why, but it just does. Anyway, guys, it's it's cultural swap week, and I don't know what I'm supposed to really say because I never really cared too much about England. I care more. I have more of a Scottish accent, and I care more about Irish people. I like, don't really have anything to say about England. I'm sorry, guys. I don't. I don't have anything. But what I have noticed is that you guys seem to be more, more rowdy, more punk-like in a fashion sense, I guess, and music and stuff. And I could ask my my parents or other relatives. They've been to England. And they I could get more feedback from them, but but I don't want to. So anyway, uh. I guess I'll talk about accents then. Uh, my accent's all Scottish, isn't it? And that's stupid. So with... I've noticed with English people, you guys seem to have much more precise. You guys have more puncture in your in your consonants, your hard consonants, like your T's and your K's seem to be much more precise and hard, like... For example, in America we say literally, but over there you guys say literally. I've noticed that with... You seem... It's much more proper, especially with uh, with your uh, vowels. Your vowels are much longer and wider, I guess. Like it's kind of hard for me to do it because I'm not used to having vowel sounds that are so odd. They're much more rounded. The other thing I've noticed too is that sometimes with your softer consonants, you like to put an H after it. I guess the H sound kind of makes words a little different like instead of be you guys would say be or wa wa you know, stuff like that i i'm sorry if that didn't make any sense but that's that's kind of what i noticed anyway i'll just wrap up this video now i'm sorry i offended you all for my scottish accent instead of my english accent so i guess any of your english people tell me where my accent's actually from i would really like to know so uh Anyway guys, I guess I'll see you around next week, DFTBA.